mutual fund. Hello everyone, this is Roan Ceres Capistrano of One Million Club. In this video, pag-usapan natin ng mutual fund, isa sa investment vehicle. Pero bago yan, pag-usapan muna natin ang mga important factors to consider in building your wealth. Understand how money works. In building wealth, di lang money ang involved. Dapat i-consider mo din ang other factors like time. Importante din na maingat tayo kung saan dapat ilagay ang pera. Ano ba yung rate of return na dapat kitain ng pera mo? Dapat din maintindihan mo ang effect ng inflation and taxes. First, let's discuss the value of time. Alam mo bang may cost ang procrastination? Cost of waiting ang tawag dyan. Every time na dinedenay mo ang pag-iipon, may nawawala sa'yo. Magbigay tayo ng halimbawa. Si Mr. Save Early at si Mr. Save Later. Magkaklase sila nung high school, so same age sila. Pareho silang naglagay sa investment facility na pwedeng magbigay sa kanila ng average 12% return per year. Pareho silang nag-invest ng 20,000 a year for 6 years or a total of 120,000. Ang difference si Mr. Save Early nagsimula mag-save, 22 years old pa lang siya. Si Mr. Save Later, dahil sa sakit na procrastination or kakadelay, nagsimula mag-save, 28 years old na. So, 6 years nag-delay si Mr. Save Later. Yung naipon ni Mr. Save Early na 120,000 at age 60, naging 7,651,410 na. Yung naipon ni Mr. Save Later na 120,000 din, at age 60, naging 3,876,440. Dahil nag-delay si Mr. Save Later ng 6 years, 3,774,970 ang nawala sa kanya. Next factor is rate of return. Let's discuss the rule of 72. Ito yung tinatawag ni Albert Einstein na the power of compound interest. Pag dinivide mo daw sa 72 yung rate of return na binibigay sa'yo kung saan ka naglagay ng pera, makukuha mo yung number of years kung kailan dodoble pera mo. For example, 1% ang interest na binibigay sa'yo sa savings account mo. 72 divided by 1 equals 72 years. Meaning, 72 years pa bago dumoble pera mo. Bakit 72? For example, on the first year, may 100 ka na kumikita ng 1% per year. On the second year, 101 na siya kasi kumita na ng 1% or piso. On the third year, 102.01 na. Yung 101, kumita ng 1% kaya naging 102.01. Pago dumobli yung 100 pesos mo sa year 1, 72 years pa ang aantayin mo para maging 200. Another example, kung nasa 1% na kinikita ng pera mo, at the age of 29, may 10,000 ka, 29 plus 72, at the age of 101, congratulations, dumoble na pera mo, 20,000. Maantay mo pa ba yan? Kaya importante yung time and rate of return para mabilis dumoble pera mo. Another illustration here are 4%, 8%, 12%. Mas malaki interest rate, mas mabilis dodoble pera mo. Maraming Pinoy ang di alam how money works. Kaya madalas ang pera nakalagay lang sa 4% ang return or 1% or less. If you don't know how money works, 6 million ang pwedeng mawala sa iyo. Kasi nasa wrong facility ang pera mo. The secret of the wealthy is learning how money works. Ngayon alam mo na kung bakit ang mayaman lalong yumayaman at ang mahirap lalong humihirap. Another factor is inflation rate. Inflation is a general increase in prices and fall in the purchasing value of money. Sa Tagalog, ito yung pagtaas ng bilihin, kaya yung kayang mabili ng pera natin kada taon ay kumukonti. From indexmundi.com, ito po yung inflation rate from year 2000 to 2014 here in the Philippines. Average inflation rate is 4.5% or gawin na lang nating 5%. Ibig sabihin, kung ang presyo ng candy ngayon ay piso, tataas siya ng 5 centavos, magiging 1.05 na siya next year. 
To illustrate further the inflation rate, magbigay tayo ng halimbawa. Noong 2003, ang pamasahe sa jeep ay 4 pesos lang. Estudyante pa ako niyan. Noong 2013, tumaas na siya. Naging 8 pesos na. Ang bigas naman dati noong 2003, nasa 20 pesos lang kada kilo. Ngayon, nasa 40 pesos na. Kaya naman dati, pag may 1,000 ka, marami kang mabibili. Pero ngayon, ang 1,000 mo, bilang na lang ang mabibili. May important message here, knowing that inflation rate is 5%, dapat naka-invest ang pera mo sa facility na magbibigay sa iyo ng at least 5%. Para makasabay ka sa pagtaas ng mga bilihin. Next, know the effect of taxes and inflation on your purchasing power. Did you know, if you have 20,000 today in savings deposit account in the bank, you are actually losing money every year. How? Yung kinita ng 20,000 mo is 50 pesos lang. That's 0.25% interest at mababawasan pa ng 20% tax or 10 pesos. Ang nakikita mo yung 20,040, pero kung i-consider natin ang inflation na 5% or 1,000, lumiit na ang purchasing power ng pera mo. Stage of money. It's important that you make money, you save. Importante din na whatever you save, you grow and protect. To grow your money, one of your options is to invest in mutual fund. First, ano ba yung investment? Investment is an asset that is purchased with the expectation that it will generate income or appreciate in the future. Familiar tayo dun sa investment sa lupa. Bumibili tayo ng lupa kasi ang plano natin, ibenta to balang araw o improve para maupahan or magkaroon tayo ng rental income. Ganun din sa mutual fund. Shares ang binibili mo dito. Pwedeng nabili mo ngayon ng mura at after 5 years, malaki na value niya. Mutual fund is about ownership. Here, you are a shareholder and importante na long-term investor ka dito. Pag sinabing long-term investor, at least 5 years, huwag mong galawin yung investment mo. How does mutual fund work? A mutual fund is a money pulled from a certain number of investors. Each fund has a specific mandate or purpose and a professional fund manager who invests the money based on the specific strategy and goal of the fund. Sa mutual fund, pwedeng si investor A, 5,000 nang in-invest, si investor B, 10,000, si investor C, 100,000, si investor D, 50,000, at alam mo bang nag invest din dito ang mga company? Halimbawa, si ABC Corporation nag-invest ng 500,000. Pinagsama-sama lahat ng investment, tawag dyan ay money pool. Yung investment mo na money na convert into number of shares kapag nag-invest ka sa mutual fund. Kaya ang tawag sa iyo, shareholder. Under mutual fund company, merong group of fund managers. Sila ang bumibili at nagbebenta o yung tinatawag na nakikipag-trade. Isa sa advantage pag sa mutual fund ka nag-invest, may fund manager ka na bahalang mag-research, mag-review ng performance ng mga companies. So ang role mo lang talaga dito ay mag-invest. Di mo na kailangang aralin isa-isa ang mga companies kasi may fund manager na na nakatutok sa pag-trade. Dalawang klase kung saan napupunta ang investment mo. Pwedeng binili ng bonds, eto yung ini-issue ng government. Kapag kasi may project ang government, government raised capital through issuance of bonds. Dahil government ang nag-issue, mas secure ang bonds kasi di naman malulugi ang government. At ang isa pang klase, Stocks. Ito yung share of stocks na ini-issue ng public listed corporation like Jollibee, PLDT, Meralco, PAL, PPI, SM, Ayala. Kapag kumita ang investment dahil shareholder ka, may share ka sa kita ng fund. Yung income mo depende sa number of shares mo, kaya sa mutual fund, better kung marami kang nabiling shares. Our strategy is money cost averaging. Ang role mo, mag-save and invest ka every month, regardless kung anong price per share. Sabi nga, time not timing is a better ally to build wealth for your family. Please note that this is for illustration purposes only. In our illustration, 100 ang monthly savings mo. On the first month, kung 100 ang price per share, isang share na bili mo. On the second month, 
price per share is 50. So, 2 shares na bili mo. On the third month, 25 pesos ang price per share. So, 4 shares na bili mo. And so forth. At the end of 6 months, total number of shares na nabili mo, 18 shares. Times natin sa last price per share na 50 pesos. So, total value of your investment is 900 pesos. Kung total contribution mo is 600, kumita ka ng 300 pesos after 6 months or 50%. Again, this is for illustration purposes only. Based on historical performance of mutual fund, nasa 15% to 18% ang pwedeng kitain ng fund mo in one year. The secret of the wealthy is now available to you. A mutual fund allows the average person to have equal investment opportunity with the wealthy. Noong 1990s, mga mayayaman lang nakakapag-invest kasi malaki ang amount na involved. Today, meron na tayong opportunity to invest kasi kahit 5,000 or 10,000 lang investment mo, pwede ka na makapag-open ng account. A mutual fund allows many investors to pool their money. Professional money managers invest in a diversified portfolio of securities. They invest the pooled assets in many different companies in variety of industries. Ang mga ganda sa mutual fund, nagkakaroon ka ng opportunity to invest sa top corporations kahit limited lang fund mo. As an investor, you own shares in proportion to your investment. You receive your proportionate share of any earnings on the investment of the funds. Again, sa mutual fund, shareholder ka or investor kaya pag kumita ang investment fund sa top corporations, may share ka sa profit or income. Mutual funds are usually classified into first bond fund or fixed income, funds that invest in government securities, sa bond fund, low risk, low return. We are recommending this type of mutual fund sa mga conservative or nasa 50 years old and up. Second, stock or equity, funds that invest in a variety of stocks and equities. Sa stock or equity, high risk, high return. We are recommending this type of mutual fund sa mga aggressive or young investors dahil mahaba pa ang time. Third, balanced, combines profitability of equity investment and the stability of fixed income instruments. Balance is for the average risk taker. Balance is the combination of bond and stocks or equity. Advantages of mutual funds, professional management, may fund manager ka na bahalang mag-manage ng investment mo. Second, diversification, may SEC regulation na may limit na 10% ang maximum investment sa isang company. Halimbawa, sa PLDT maximum 10% lang ang pwedeng invest ng fund manager. Sa SM, maximum 10% lang din. Diversified investment mo kasi di lang nakalagay sa isang company. Third, liquidity. Anytime you can redeem your investment. Although ang turo namin, wag mong withdraw ang investment mo lalo na kung bago pa lang. Pero kung need mo talagang mag-pull out, within 1 to 2 weeks, good as cash na ang investment mo. Ang tawag kapag nag-pull out ka ng fund, redemption. Fourth, Lower investment minimums, usually 5,000 to 10,000 lang, pwede ka na mag-open ng mutual fund account. Fifth, ease and convenience. Now, paano mo naman mamomonitor yung investment mo sa mutual fund? Most of the mutual fund companies, meron silang pinapadala sa address ng investor na statement of account. Yung iba, mamomonitor mo online. Merong access na ibibigay sa iyo para ma-check mo account mo. Para may idea ka, ito yung makikita mo sa statement of account. Customer number, ito yung folio number or account number, transaction date kung kailan ka nakabili ng shares or nag-invest, ang tawag doon subscription. Kasi shares ang binibili mo dito. Number of shares kung ilan ang nabili mong shares, paano nakuha yung 2,500 shares, 10,000 amount ng ininvest mo divided by 4 pesos, NAV per share ng time na nag-invest ka or transaction date. Please note that this illustration is applicable kapag may zero load benefit ka, meaning wala ng entry fee or charge every time na magi invest ka. Explain ko sa next slide ang tungkol dito. NAV per share means net asset value per share. Magkano ang value ng share ng time na nag-invest ka? Transaction amount, magkano in-invest mo? In case na magpo-pull out ka ng fund, again ang tawag doon redemption. Para ma-compute mo kung kumita ka or loss, 
Itotal mo lahat ng shares, tawag dyan, outstanding shares. Sa sample natin, nakabili ka ng 2,500 plus 1,200 shares, kaya total is 3,700 shares. Nav per share, magkano ba current value ng shares? Sa sample natin, as of June 30, 2017, 4.5. So, ang current value ng investment mo is 16,650. Paano nakuha yun? 3,700 shares times 450. Current cost is total ng contribution mo. In our illustration, 15,000 total na na-invest. 10,000 plus 5,000. So, in our example, may gain na 1,650 or 11%. Kung may advantages ang mutual fund, meron ding disadvantages. The returns are not guaranteed. There are risks involved. Kaya ang tinuturo namin, lagay mo dito yung pera na okay lang sa'yo na mawala kasi may risk at kaya dapat long term ang goal mo. Kasi pag long term investor ka, mas nababawasan ang risk na involved. Second, fees can reduce your return unless you have zero load benefits. Dahil may fund manager ka, may entry fee or tinatawag na charge every time na mag invest ka sa mutual fund. Kaya marami nagpapamember sa IMG. Kasi pag IMG member ka, may zero load benefit ka. Meaning, wala nang charge every time na magdadagdag ka ng investment. Kung gusto mo mag-invest sa mutual fund, required na IMG member ka. To know more about IMG benefits, you may check the link below. Third disadvantage, you can lose money. Kaya ang mutual fund, tinatawag naming level 2 investing na. Kasi ang tinuturo namin to build your solid financial foundation, unahin mo muna yung sa baba. Dapat may protection ka. Para sa mga magsisimula pa lang sa investment, ang recommended namin is Kaiser Investment Program. Kasi sa Kaiser, aside from may investment ka na, meron ka pang healthcare and life insurance coverage. To know more about Kaiser, you may check the link below. To get Kaiser, di required na IMG member ka. Investment rules, no such thing as short-term investment. Sa pag-execute, dapat may disiplina ka. Ang investment hindi yan after 2 months, gusto mo na agad i-pull out. Again, long-term ang turo namin. Second, greed never wins. Huwag mong gawing sugal ang pag-i-invest. Yung iba kaya na i scam kasi gusto agad malaki ang kita. Naniniwala sa mga nag-o-offer na after 3 months, doble na agad ang investment mo. O kaya mag-business tayo, wala kang gagawin, kikita ka ng 50% sa investment mo. Reminder, investigate before you invest. Third, remove emotional attachments. May mga case kasi na makita mo lang nalugi ka ng 1,000, pull out agad ng fund. Again, dapat long-term investor ka. At least 5 years, huwag mong galawin ang fund mo para mabawasan ang risk. Huwag namang araw-araw nagmomonitor kasi mas stress ka lang. Eh after 10 to 20 years ka pa naman magre-retire. Fourth, diversify. Sa iba't ibang investment vehicle ka mag-invest. Aside from mutual fund, pwede ka mag-invest sa other investment instruments like Kaiser. Pwede ka rin mag-invest sa business and sa real estate. To summarize what we have discussed in this video, we have discussed the wealth formula, the cost of waiting or delaying, rate of return, the effect of taxes and inflation on your purchasing power, how does mutual fund work, advantages and disadvantages of mutual fund, and lastly, investment rules. Financial education is not just for the wealthy, it's for everyone. If you want to know more, you may visit our financial center near you. We are conducting free financial coaching in Makati, Cebu, Davao. We also have financial center in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Dubai. And for those who cannot visit our financial center, we have free online seminar. Basta may internet ka, you can join our free online seminar. I put the link below para makapag-register kayo and very important, please add me in Facebook, Roan Ceris Capistrano. You may also email me at roanceris at gmail.com or roan at 1millionclub.com if you have queries. Again, this is Roan Ceris Capistrano of 1 Million Club. To learn more about savings and investments, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.